How are you doing today? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm Bill Gallmeister, and if you guys can give me the slides, that would be great. All right, so uh, I'm the VP of Engineering at H2O, and uh, I've been working with, with the team here on a new product called Steam, and we're going to give you a, a brief demo of it today. Uh, how many people have heard about Steam? It's been rumored for a little while. A couple people? A couple of people, not too many. Okay. Um, so I'll start by saying Steam is not a data science product. Steam is a data science platform. All right. How many of you are data scientists here? Yeah. What do data scientists like doing? Data science. What do data scientists not like doing? Hanging around at a VT100 terminal, trying to start up your, your Hadoop cluster, monkeying around with yarn, all that kind of junk. Uh, so the purpose of STEAM is to operationalize your models, to aid in the creation of models, to aid in how you work with your team to collaborate on the models, to compare them, to determine what's a good model, to deploy it. Right? We want to make that easy. The whole idea is to let data scientists be data scientists. All right? uh, it'll also aid in the, uh, the iterative process of model creation, uh, vetting, deployment, tuning, redeployment. So uh, the node mentioned the Steam pre-alpha. I prefer to call it the alpha. It's available right now, uh, and it has some features in it. Uh, the features it has, we have this, uh, this feature called Elastic ML. And what Elastic ML is, is basically managing your H2O clusters. One of the things we've heard from many of our larger customers I have 100 data scientists and I have this monster Hadoop cluster. I can deploy all these H2O clusters on it, but I don't want this data scientist interfering with that data scientist stepping on their work. How do I manage that? All right. um, so the cluster management is a very important part of Steam and that's available in the alpha right now. We also, on the other end, uh, deployment automation. Once I have this beautiful model and I've decided I want to deploy it, how do I deploy it, right? And Shri mentioned all the different ways that people might want to deploy models, right? You might want to uh, just deploy a simple scoring server right? where, you can, where you can talk to a RESTful API and get answers to your questions. You might want to take the POJO, the plain old Java object, embed it in an application. You might want to do bulk scoring. But how do you do that? Right now it's all ad hoc and the purpose of Steam is to assist in that, to automate it. Okay. Uh, model library. Right? You can create many, many models in H2O. How do you compare them? How do you know which one is the right model? Well, you can look at the numbers and, and do the math and all that, and that's what you all are doing today. Uh, Steam aims to, to uh, ease this with beautiful visualizations, with some of the more common mechanisms that you use to determine what's a good model, what's a not so good model, what I might want to tweak to improve the model. Right? Uh, at this point, I, I should uh, take a brief break. Uh, there's a, a number of team members who have been working on Steam, and I wanted to mention them in particular. Uh, Tony Shoes back there, he's our, our head of visualization. He's in charge of making Steam beautiful and, and H2O beautiful. And then uh, Magnus Stemsmo is here somewhere. And my, and my goal for Magnus is to have him not speak, because Magnus is uh, the crack engineer, and if he has to come up here, it's because I've screwed something up. So I'm going to try not to screw anything up as we go through this demo. So the alpha is available right now. You can go to h2o.ai slash steam, and I'll, I'll show you through that in a minute. Uh, we are going to a beta uh, on the 10th of August, and we'll be iterating on this. This is the beginning of a journey, how you deploy uh, data science products is something we're all learning together. Right? Most of us have not been doing a, this for that long, and we anticipate new, new methods of deployment, new methods of comparing models, new methods of firing up clusters and controlling them. Right? So the beta will begin uh, 8, 10, and we really, really want your input. We want your feedback. Uh, so if you're interested in this product, I'd like you to, uh, to come find me. Come find Tony, come find Magnus. Let us know what your, what your interest is. All right, we'll get you set up. 
on our roadmap, because there is a lot to do in STEAM, uh, we uh, are going to simplify the model creation process. Flow makes it pretty darn easy, right? but we can make it even easier. And uh, so Tony and his team are, are doing a lot of work to make it even simpler to create your models. Um, better cluster management to see Another thing we heard from customers, you know, I, I, have this, uh, I have this big cluster and my data scientists are doing their data science on it, uh, but they've taken 15 notes and they've gone off for lunch. You know, I, wanted, I want to use those notes for something else. How do I know what's going on? So we want to add that in as well. Uh, additional cluster management and deployment options. Right now you can deploy by setting up a cluster in the standard way, an administrator can do that and you can connect to it, I'll demonstrate that. You can use Yarn to spin up a cluster, again, something an administrator would do, and the data scientist would simply connect. But we want to add additional methods for doing that, right? cloud-based, microservice-based, um, Spark-based, and so on and so forth. And then the leaderboard, the, the whole comparison of machine learning models is an area where we're going to add visualizations and new aspects, new variables, uh, and this is, this is an area where we envision your feedback will be very, very crucial, right? We come up with new ways of seeing what's a good model. All right. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So say you want to use Steam, and uh, I apologize, I have to go to that horrible thing, the VT100 terminal, just for an instant here. Oh no, I don't. First of all, we start at the website. So you go to h2o.ai slash steam, and you'll see, we have a bit of a description of it, and it looks wonderful, it's great, I want it, so what do I do? I download it, and if you want to download it, let's see, I'm going to change my name. Oops, yes. All right, so let's download Steam. And there it is, all right? There is a EULA associated with this uh, that you should take a look at. And uh, of course, we all read these from top to bottom. You'll notice third paragraph, fourth sentence, there's a slight change from the usual EULA. Anyways, all right, so that's Steam. Now, there are, uh, there are a couple of aspects to setting it up which, to be honest, I'm not going to go through in this demo. Right, you do need to set up uh, Postgres to run it. And we're working to automate that. But right now, I want to focus on the data science, um, first to show you the great aspects of Steam, and, and second, to, to keep us on schedule here. We can spend a lot of time with you watching me at the VT100, and that's even worse than you having to be on the VT100. So, so we have Steam, and uh, let's see here. So once you've done your setup, you can simply start it. And it's now started. There, all the VT100 for the day. I'm sorry. OK, and you can go to your Steam instance, which is running on my machine here. And you can see, do I have a pointer? Is that pointing? Yeah. All right, so from Steam, you can log in as an administrator and do clustery sorts of things, or you can log in as a data science and do data science-y sorts of things. All right, so the, the first step is to create some clusters. And we have a cluster that's already here. This happens to be our, our demo cluster that's floating out in the, in the cloud. Um, we've run 20 jobs on it. It has 377 gigs of memory, 128 total cores. It's a big, it's a big uh, cluster. Right. So we can also create more clusters, and I have a couple more. So again, this would be something that would happen administratively from IT. All right. And we can connect to another one. Oops. And you do have to enter the right information. There we go. So now I have three clusters I can choose from. Right? So if I'm the data scientist, I can come in and simply connect to that cluster. Right? So I can come in just through the usual interface. I can get to it from Flow. I can get to it from R. I can get to it from Python. Um, or I can get to it from, from other mechanisms. Right? 
And I have a notebook built up here. Uh, so we can do, this is a, a churn data set that uh, Navdeep and Lauren back at H2O HQ created for us. And it's basically here, I'm not going to focus on the data science parts because, well, you've got another day and a half of all that. So right now, we have our data set, we're trying to analyze churn, we're parsing the file, we print some stuff about the file, all things you've done, right? Um, basic purpose here is to create some models. So you can see we're creating a model. That's great. And now if I go back over to Steam and refresh, I look on my cluster, I see some details. So I've run some jobs. Those are the training jobs that have been running. You can use that to monitor whether your cluster is busy or whether the data scientist has gone off to lunch or on vacation or something like that. Uh, and you can see the models that have been created in the system. All right? And as we create more and more models, you'll be able to track those. Though so with two models, it's, it's less interesting. Right? When we do uh, 100 models, it becomes rather more interesting. Let's see if we can get this going here. All right, so we should have some models coming in. My apologies. We're up to five models, right? So as, as the uh, data scientist does his job, uh, he can track these models and using project-based collaboration, you know, we could take these models, compare them. Some of the features that'll be coming in the beta will provide visual comparison. That's not in this version right now, but stay tuned, it's coming. Right. So the next cool feature of this is once we've determined a model, and we like this model, we can import it to Steam, so Steam now knows about it, and I can deploy this model. All right. And there are many different ways of deploying the model. I'm just going to show a simple REST-based scoring server, which Magnus created. Uh, so I can set it up. It's running right here on this machine on port 8015. We'll deploy it, and it takes a couple of minutes, and there it is. So we can now go to this endpoint, and I have a deployed model. So it's that simple. All right, so using that, we can, we can see about making some predictions. Okay, enter some data. Et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you can see the REST-based string that has been created from that, all right? And you can make a prediction about whether this person is going to have internet service or not, or something like that. So there it is, a simple deployment server, all right? So back to our presentation. That's the demo, it's pretty short. And if you have any questions, do come find me uh, sometime during the day today. We do want to talk to you, we do want you to download it. Uh, there is a support channel, an email channel for questions about Steam. Uh, this is a journey that we're just starting. All right, the train's leaving the station. You got the metaphor. All right, so join us. Uh, we're going to create a great platform for data science and hopefully make your lives easier. Questions? All right, thank you very much.